Byton CEO Daniel Ketcher, thank you for speaking to Bloomberg at CES. Your announcement, or one of them, is this deal with Viacom CBS to basically bring an infotainment service into the car, a subscription service. What was the thinking behind that? Yeah, so I think from their side, they clearly think the car is going to become their, their next screen, right? And uh, we have founded Byton with the vision of building a smart device on wheels. Yeah? And obviously, uh, I think our role of the car will clearly change in the future. And, and I think it will become kind of a fourth space. I mean, right now, time in cars is downtime, right? We go from A to B, it's a waste of time. But with the technology we are bringing in, making the car a smart device, it will also become a digital living space. Huh? We will be able to work, we will be able to entertain, and bring in content to the car to stream is the next logical step. And of course, uh, in a normal driving scenario, you won't distract the driver who's putting a movie there. Right. But you might want to charge your electric car somewhere and watch something great. Right. Or you're in the rear seat, or you even think the experience on our 48 inch display is so great, it's such a big screen that you just want to be there with your So, what is the customer it. getting from Viacom CBS? It's basically video content straight oh, yeah. into the car. I mean, the Viacom CBS, including Paramount Pictures portfolio, is huge. Huh? I mean, the whole amount of content, and I mean, they're yeah, they're, they're, they're having the Olympic rights, for example, in 2020. So we will take, and they're a global player, truly global players, so, and we are launching global. So we will custom tailor make content package for our users. And of course, we have this face recognition in the car, which really identifies the individual users. So we can make tailor tailor made packages based on individual customer profiles. And that's what we're going to do. We are going to jointly work with them now on providing until we launch the perfect content for, for every So what's market. the revenue split? How does that agreement work with Viacom CBS? Of course, there's a revenue share for these kind of things. Yeah, by, And that's, of, of course, also a future revenue stream for us. Besides selling a great car, we have built a great digital platform, which is a device where right. we bring in great content. and. And the users will be willing to, to pay for great content. And of course, we're going to share that with parties. So, so how do you see the revenue split in the future? Because others are talking about this. You get yeah. revenue from the sale of the car, the leasing of the car. Yeah. But how do you see the contribution of data, You know, monetizing that data, yeah. both data generated by the yeah. car, but also data coming into the car? Yeah. How do you see the contribution in the future? I think without any doubt, that will become the major, a major source of revenue. Uh, in the mobility industry, let's call it like that. Yeah. Being on the move yeah. and being connected on the move and monetizing data streams from there. If you ask me to have a perfect idea in two years or in three years how much that's going to be, I would say no. Yeah? Yeah. But the first step is to clearly generate this kind of wow effect for users. Right. Yeah? I mean, a kind of lock-in effect. They're going to use something in the car or getting an experience in the car, which in a traditional car they would never been able to get. Yeah? If you get this lock-in effect, gonna go there and you're gonna stay there and you will be willing at a certain point of time to also be charged for that if it really provides you with additional value. But initially we're not over focusing on the on the revenue generation, we are more focusing on this wow effect. Talk to me about the MBI. I've been in the MBI. It has a large console uh, that kind of spans the, the dash of the car. I know that there's some advanced telematics in the car. It has a cellular connection of course, yeah. which one day should carry a 5G connection. Yeah. You've looked at bringing some, basically, some health data into the car, connecting right. it to health apps. Could we see biometrics go in? What, what, what other kind of items yeah. will we see yeah. in the MBI? Absolutely, you're right. I mean, we designed the car from inside out, right? With this great 48-inch display, which gives you a great experience. There's a touchpad in the steering wheel. That's also the world's first. So it's a completely new user interface. Yeah? And we're going to bring in things like health, things like office, things like entertainment. And for the health side, uh, we definitely believe there's a demand for people to, to, to know about that and connect their health data from the other devices. Just giving a simple example, I mean, the smart car could tell you that you are 15 minutes early for your meeting and ask you if you want to park maybe two miles away and take a walk yeah, in order to come up with your personal health target or make sure that you reach your 10,000 steps per day. Yeah? And that's pretty meaningful. Yeah? And there will be more sensors go into that in the future, uh, where we could even see things like a heart rate and so on being measured uh, when you're in the car.